Storyteller TV. Classic children's stories from around the world. Just a minute, and the vanishing castle. One day, just a minute was deep in thought as he made his way home to the old castle. He was trying to understand the rules of chess after visiting his old friend, the White Knight. As usual, he was not really looking where he was going. Bonk. Something hard and flat hit him painfully on the nose. It was a notice board covered with a huge poster. Grand competition tonight at six o'clock, it said. The annual competition will be held tonight. The owner of the smartest home will receive a prize of five pounds. Official judge, Cuthbert Clown. Gosh, thought Jester. Just think of all the adventure b -b -b books I could buy with five p -p pounds. Then he remembered what a sorry state his castle was in. All the paint was flaking off the walls, the turrets were grimy, and the flags needed washing. Even the drawbridge was rusty. There was so much to do. I'd better get m -m moving, he muttered, and he hurried off home. But poor Jester was in for a shock. Turning the corner, he stopped and stared in disbelief. My c c c castle, he cried. It's c c gone. And so it had. His home had completely disappeared. Jester sat down on the cold attic floor, feeling very miserable. I can't enter the c c competition n -n -n now. I haven't even got anywhere to s -s sleep. He was so upset that he didn't even hear the screech of wheels as Commander Windbag's old wooden aeroplane skidded to a shuddering halt nearby. Hello, old chap, shouted the cheery pilot as he clambered down from his cockpit. I say, you're looking a bit down. What's the trouble, eh? Jester explained what had happened. What rotten luck, puffed Commander Windbag. This calls for an expedition. Come on, old boy, into the back seat. Before Jester could catch his breath, they were speeding along the floorboards. Then, to his amazement, they began to climb into the air. Looking down, Jester could see the other toys getting smaller and smaller as the little plane climbed further into the air. Jolly good fun, isn't it? <laughs> yelled the commander as he steered the plane even higher. Jester began to feel just a little bit ill. Flying was a completely new experience for him, and he was terrified. They flew at such an alarming speed, over things, round things, sometimes nearly straight into things. But there was no sign of the castle. C -c 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 could, could we st stop for a m -m -m moment? Groaned Jester. I'm f -f feeling a bit dizzy. But Commander Windbag could not hear. Instead of slowing down, they seemed to fly even faster. And before Jester could speak again, they shot straight out of an open window. <laughs> <laughs> 